All right, so I just want to quickly answer some of the most common questions that I get about reishi mushroom. Obviously, if you want to learn more, be sure to check the link below or go to hyperionherbs.com. But what I want to cover is the immune benefits, the stress relief, heart calming benefits, the dosage, and then generally how long we have to take it to actually start seeing the benefits. So one of the most famous things that reishi is known for is basically its ability to strengthen our immune system and to do this in an intelligent way. There are some things that we can do that just maybe stimulate the immune system, which is not necessarily ideal for long term. Whereas reishi is something that is in a class of herbs that can actually balance and modulate our immune functioning so that over a period of time, actually our immune function can get much better. And this is a really common thing. It's a really important benefit, I think. Uh, it's one thing that I've seen in my own life. Many of my own clients and many of my friends that I've gotten on this herb have seen dramatic decreases in how much they get sick, or if they do get sick, they're able to recover and bounce back more quickly. But generally over time, people find that their immune function gets better. Different allergy things tend to kind of go away and they feel a deeper sense of just resiliency and adaptability in, in a way. Um, at least for me, that's definitely a, tr a true statement because if you're not really having to worry about getting sick, or you know that inside you're actually strong, then mentally you kind of just chill out and relax. You don't have to worry about things as much anymore. So it does this in an intelligent way through its constituents of polysaccharides and beta-glucans, which help actually work with our inherent immune cells to help it function more efficiently and effectively. Uh, cordyceps and chaga and a couple other mushrooms have similar effects, but reishi is really great for this and more especially because of its stress relief and ability to what they say calm the heart so when we talk about calming the heart from the perspective of chinese medicine generally if we start getting anxiety or excessive overthinking in a way we could say that basically everything is just stuck up here and the the chi, the chi of the heart is not able to actually descend Another way is that our heart actually gets kind of irritated. Um, the tissues around the heart can kind of contract and get tight and we can feel uneasy. So they also say reishi helps to mend the chest. So what happens is you can take it and actually the chest can have a sense of relaxing and dropping and sinking. And usually when that happens, a lot of the mental pressure and excess can start to drop down. So oftentimes if people can't sleep, it's because this is happening, everything's stuck up here, it's not able to drop down and descend. If you've ever had anxiety, <laughs> which like, who hasn't? If you've ever had that sensation where your mind just won't turn off, this is kind of what we mean. So reishi has an ability to help that calm the actual heart so that we can feel a bit more chill and at ease. And then stretching that out over time, especially for someone that does yoga or meditation or things where we're working with these functions and mechanisms even more, it can really be a great tool and a great aid because for thousands of years, reishi has been known as the herb of spiritual potency or really classified in a high, high elite stature of herbs that can support a person on this path. There's also a whole thing about it helping to resolve and work through karmic type of issues or psychological issues, but that's kind of a bigger context outside of this video. So recapping the immune support, the immune benefits, and then stress relief, helping to calm the heart. So in terms of dosage, um, again, for the Hyperion herbs, reishi extract powder, this is a pretty concentrated powder. So the dosage is actually a bit lower than we might expect. For me, I usually do quarter to one teaspoon, uh, and usually morning and evening would be good to do. I've done more. The highest that I've ever done for reishi is like an entire bottle. <laughs> like I think I took 40 or 45 grams of the actual extract powder, which if that's a 10x extract, that would be like four kilos of herbs or something. If it's, well, 40 times 10, whatever that is. So we have 400 grams <laughs> of herbs. <laughs> Um, 
I don't recommend that, but I just did it to experiment a few times. And one time I was really sick uh, and was just laid out. And then I remember I took like 50 capsules of reishi or something. And then within an hour or two, I felt pretty much immediately better um, or pretty much way better. And then got out of bed and was going about my day. I don't recommend that. I don't know if it's necessarily the best thing to do, but I've definitely done it and it was okay. Taking higher amounts of it, but quarter to half tea, quarter to one teaspoon is really what is recommended, and that will have potent benefits. And because it's a concentrated extract, you can just eat it <laughs> straight out of the bag. You can mix it with hot water. You can add it to any drink. It's ready to go. So then, how long to actually see benefits or feel things from it? It's a bit of a spectrum. Some people feel the stress relief, kind of calming properties immediately. Can feel kind of things in their body cooling and calming down. Um, I've definitely am more on that side of things where I'm because I'm pretty sensitive to these herbs so I kind of can feel what they're doing usually pretty early on but generally a week is a good marker. If you're taking it every day for a week that's usually a good starting point to where things will start to click. Like for me if I start taking a new formula or a new herb it's like I will feel some things, but then usually after about a week, things will kind of click over. But obviously for more uh, longer term immune system things, we have to take it over a longer period of time. And again, these tonic herbs are kind of like eating good food and exercise. If you just eat good food and exercise like once a week or once a month, the benefits are somewhat there, but they're also a little bit diminished. But if we're doing it on a consistent, regular basis, then actually we're helping to establish more benevolent patterns to hopefully introduce more, in a more intelligent information to our system so that our bodies then can, can then be more informed to make better decisions and then our actual functioning can improve over a period of time. So it's really just a matter of taking something or doing something and then being regular and being committed and dedicated and then the results will usually manifest. So anyways, hopefully that gives you a good idea and answers some of the most common questions I get. If you want to learn more, obviously check out HyperionHerbs.com or check out the link below. Learn more about reishi mushroom. It's my favorite tonic herb. It's the one I've been taking the most and the longest over the last like 12 years. And I plan to keep on doing that because it's something that just keeps giving to me and increasing its benefits. So thanks for watching this video and I'll talk to you soon.